And you can send it back very nicely. In Somerville, New Jersey. And obviously, it's on my phone. Dang it. So my name's Bernie Sanger. I'm from the great state of New Jersey, the home of pork roll um, and New Jersey staple. But kind of the story of how I found the Culture Project actually starts in New Jersey. It starts at my high school. Uh, so I went to Immaculata High School, which is in Somerville, New Jersey. And during my senior year, I went on this retreat called Antioch. And this retreat was very impactful on me and on my own faith journey and a lot of the things that I was kind of struggling with at the time. So after this retreat, I was asked to be a leader for the one in the spring. And I graduated during COVID. So this never happened. I was never able to lead this retreat. And it left me kind of bummed out, uh, to say the least. But fast forward to my second to last semester of college. Um, I was doing study abroad in Rome of all places. And this was kind of like a last minute decision to do this. And what's funny is part of this study abroad experience was this retreat. And this didn't have anything to do with the culture project or with my high school. I actually went to a Protestant college. So it's kind of funny how it worked out, but the timing between this retreat and the one four years earlier in high school, and I was just kind of in a similar state of like, I didn't know what I wanted to do when I graduated. So I kind of thought after this retreat, maybe God was still leading me to do something similar to what I never got to do in high school and to kind of fulfill the calling that I never got to. So I just kind of prayed and asked him to show me where he wanted me to go. And then I found the Culture Project on Instagram. And I kind of knew right away that this was like what he wanted me to do. Because what's unique about the Culture Project, just from what I've seen, um, like with other Catholic mission organizations, is that we really focus on encountering the youth on a lot of the core issues that they face and the lies that the mainstream culture feeds them. And this is exactly what I would have been doing at this Antioch retreat if I was able to lead it. But also kind of my personal why for I wanted to join the Culture Project is just to be this person that I never really had in high school. Um, you know, I didn't really have someone to like look up to as an example of holiness. But I mean, I had the priest that was at my high school um, and there were a couple other people, but no one really my own age and no one who I could really relate to um, on a, like a super personal level. So I'm super glad to be able to be here and just kind of stand up for the truth and be someone who is not afraid to live a life of holiness um, for our youth today. So going even more forward, I actually did a discernment weekend in Philadelphia with the missionaries there. And that was kind of the moment that solidified that this was what I wanted to do. Uh, there was this one time where we were play, praying outside an abortion clinic, and it was an intense experience. Some of the second year missionaries said it was one of the more intense ones they've ever had. And I just kind of realized that, yeah, this is, this is the whole point of what we're doing. Like, it's going to be hard, but this, this mission, this truth we have to share is so vital. It's so important. And to not do it, to not share it would be a disservice to our world. So coming back from the discernment weekend, I'm about to graduate and I still had some doubts about like whether or not this was the right mission for me or whether or not I could actually even do this. And I was praying the rosary because it was just after Lent and I decided to pray the rosary every day and then I kind of stuck with it. Um, so I was praying the rosary and just meditating on Mary's yes to God. And it was just this kind of strange moment where Everything became quiet and I just kind of heard her almost speak into my heart almost. Just let her take care of it. Let her take care of all the fears and worries and to take them ultimately to Jesus. And for me to just kind of say yes in the same way that she did. So after I got my call um, from the Culture Project saying I was accepted, I accepted and here I am now. So glad to be here with the Culture Project serving in the Diocese of Omaha for the year. It's going to be awesome.